so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Let's do it. Well, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets within five minutes of them going on sale. You're going to be outside. You're going to be standing outside, hoping to be inside the arena. All the way back to UFC 75, champion versus champion, Rampage versus Dan Henderson. The UFC has brought fights that have blown the roof off the O2 arena edge of your seat action as expected thus far. What a fight. My goodness, what a fight. Oh, beautiful level change. Side control now. Big ground and pound. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Khabib's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and showed in that defense. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Nurmagomedov. There it is. Now he's going to bump. Massive shot from the top. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Khabib's back in full mount. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Attacking armbar. Arm Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. In the half guard. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Oh, nice. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how Khabib lands early and he lands off. Huge elbow lands from McClinton. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Getting the ball here. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow himself to get set. Big punch man. Here's the kick blocked by Nurmago Meta. So once again, Khabib Nurmago Meta dominating the opposition here tonight. Tremendous grappling ability, and he does a lot of things that the average fan can't even see. Johnny tells you. He also tells you what he's going to do. The game plan is not a secret when it comes to Habib. He's going to get in your face, he's going to press, and he's going to take you down. 
He's been very successful in doing that tonight, and that's why he's winning. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed to perfection tonight. It never works out perfectly, but today it seems to be going as great as it can be. I know the takedowns don't look beautiful. They don't look perfect, but it doesn't matter. He's a submission guy. All he needs to do is get you to the ground. Right. So even if it looks a little bit bad being there, he is accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's to make you grapple with him. Oh, right into Mount. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meta. Right now, it looks like he may. <sighs> Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go with round two. Our right, next round is underway, and man, is that guy hard to submit. It looked like it was close, but close doesn't work anymore. Almost doesn't count. And for as close as he was, he didn't get the job done. And again, that is because he's so good at defending submission. If you're going to be a wrestler, if you're going to be a guy that engages a lot of the crowd, you've got to be able to defend submission. Posture's up here and now going to the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Nermago Meta. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nurmago Medov going for the takedown, he misses. Nice block and the follow-up counter with the jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice head kick. Oh, man, that couldn't felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fight. Straight punch there again, been there all night. Able to block that one. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. All right, so another takedown for the wrestler. He hinted that he wanted to strike here tonight, but sticks with the bread and butter and it's working. The bread is buttered, so why would you not eat it? This guy is doing exactly what we have come to expect from him. He goes forward, he level change, and now he's a tip to choke. Oh, that's very deep now. This has got to be it. He's got the submission. It's work. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Oh, slick reversal right there. Now he's going full mount. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nicely done. Marco Medov's back in half court. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Another big game. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Right here. Get back up. Scramble and get back up. Scramble. 
All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up this takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. The ground strikes continue to pile up. He's got to start throwing now. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Medov. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. All right, round three coming up next. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Cup lands. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Nermago Metal. Great job getting that kick hold. Nice body kick. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Nurmagomedov gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Now working the body with the elbow. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Dig and kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Single collar tie now. Oh, you gotta like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pit to get the takedown. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful ankle pit. No, he's out. The fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Dude getting active lands another combination to the head. 
Huge block there. Another kick out land. Uh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Takes his back now. About two minutes here to go in round three. Oh, great reversal to top position by Nermagomedov. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he's a movement sub, elected to keep the dominant position. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in and largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going to him. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really starting to wear at the gas tank. I stopped this. You didn't fight that. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. Oh, and now a beautiful hit. I mean, that was beautiful. The way that he took the underhook, stepped all the way across, and hit that hip cross. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Oh, look at that high-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Great job landing from the top position. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Nermago Madoff's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Working on half guard here, making these shots count. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Mark, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness of that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. And right now, it's starting to show. Gotta watch his neck. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. This has got to be the end. Wow. So 
Boy, what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Ebola Nurmagomedov. All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov had a lot of...